could not make up. You could not make this up. You couldn't write this. Hollywood could not write this. Wait until you meet the really good local bank, Shore Bank. Surprisingly not in the news. Chicago, Illinois. Let me introduce you to them. See if you, you can unrecognize some of the people here. Shore Bank. They don't want it taken over by the FDIC. They don't want to be a burden to the people. Uh-huh. Here's Ron. He's the founder. Do you know he was a guy who was testifying for the Community Reinvestment Act, 1977, uh, Jimmy Carter? This is great because the Community Reinvestment Act is really kind of a Cloward and Piven kind of scheme that really led to all of the things that, uh, well, we're now having to bail banks out for. Yeah. But he was the only banker that said, I want you to know. That's an important deal. In fact, it was so inspirational, so inspirational that, um, that the Clintons thought it, was, thought it was great. Clintons. They were inspired. They were inspired. They thought it was wonderful. Back when they were in Arkansas, they saw this bank. And, uh, and they said, boy, we, we got to, I'll tell you what we got to do. We got to have a bank like that down here. Down in Arkansas. Hey, isn't there another? Didn't, um, do you have the, oh, here it is. Hannes, <laughs> sorry, in Arkansas. Pretty sure that was in Arkansas. And they were working with banks like this in Arkansas. All inspired by him. Hmm. Okay. Now, uh, on the list of shareholders for the really good bank, Shore Bank, <laughs> the list of shareholders, you know who the big shareholder is? This is going to be. Where do we go? Oh, well, the Joyce Foundation. The Joyce Foundation from Crime, Inc., the one who started the climate exchange that Barack Obama was on, and they're by the Fannie Mae, and huh, that's a good one. No big deal so far. Still just a really good local bank. By the way, the uh, co-founder, the core founder was at the, um, was at the signing of the Bill Clinton community reinvestment thing too that was that yeah, was good oh a VP where is she Jan Jan the VP I love her look at her doesn't she look like a sweet lady she is so nice <laughs> oh boy she's the VP of the bank yep 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 oh you know what's weird she was actually uh, Hillary Clinton's roommate in college yeah. Oh, and um, there's a couple of other things that aren't even really worth looking at, really. She's on the board of Vital Voices and Women Advancing Microfinance. Remember microfinance. We're going to come back to that one. She's also a, um, she's also a member of the Council of Foreign Relations. And uh, she's, uh, she's looking on working on ways to uh, develop talent pool for the presidential appointments. For... But she's... It's just a really good local bank. Now, let me uh, introduce you to the uh, former vice president here, uh, former executive vice president. This is Bob. Hi, my name's Bob. I'm the former executive vice president. He is a kind of a key player in a lot of things. He's been uh, active for over 25 years in uh, community and civic organizations. Um, he's, let's see, he's been on the... Uh, He's on the Center for Neighborhood Technology. He's on the visiting committee of the University of Chicago Law School. University of Chicago. He wasn't he at the, I wonder if he knows Bob because he was at the university. <clears throat> oh, but he does because he also uh, was, um, was on the board of the uh, Business People in the Public Interest, BPI, um, that received $375,000 in grants from the Chicago Annenberg Challenge, which... See, Barack Obama was on that. Oh, and Bill Ayers was on the... I wonder... Because he didn't know Bill Ayers. He probably doesn't know Bob either. Mm -hmm. And he was... No, he has to because he was actually part of the Biden-Obama transition team. Then we have Howard Standback. Here's Howie. He's, a, he's another board member. Hi, Howard. Howard's a good guy. He's a... Uh, he... Wait a minute, he's a former board chairman of the Woods Foundation, which is weird. If I'm not mistaken, Obama and Bill Ayers were also on the board of the Woods Foundation. 
isn't, I got to check some of these facts out because you'd think, oh, by the way, he also was employed, this can't be right. He was also employed at uh, New Kenwood LLC, a real estate development co-owned by Allison Davis and Tony Rezco. Tony Rezco, didn't he like give like an amazing deal on Barack Obama's house? And they were on the board to get, this is getting interesting. And we've just got it started. Back in a minute.